Hey everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tricks to Outplay Your Opponents. Before we get started, I would like to know what you all think of these kinds of intros. I'll leave a poll for you and it would be greatly appreciated if you could answer it for me. But for now, let's start the tricks. So, the Victor ult goes through Barracks Dome Shield and Makoa's Shell Shield. When a Barrack ults, it can be a pain in the ass, but if you play Victor, you can turn the whole thing upside down. This is kinda weird, but you just have to keep in mind that this is Paladins, and everything's possible. Wall jumps are kinda undervalued and underused. You can use them to evade things like Androx's reversal or Shaolin arrows, and you can use them to cross long distances mid-air. You can also use them just to get the higher ground and be harder to hit, for example with Maeve. If you do the same thing every time, like flanking left or using abilities in the same order, your enemies will start to use that against you. Let's say you play Andro and you flank left every time. Well next round, if the enemy is smart, they'll make sure you won't be able to flank left anymore. This is why you always need to try to change up your strategies every once in a while. Okay, so this next trick is like not really a trick. It's a key part of the game. So, if you play a champion who can do a lot of damage from range, like Cassie or the snipers, or just anything else basically, you should try to focus hitting the enemy healer and DPS. Most of the time, if you can kill the enemy healer, your tanks will have more sustain than the enemies, so you'll probably win the fight. Snipers especially are not made to just deal damage on point. They're also made just to try and deal with the enemy backline. After you kill the backliners, you can of course start shooting at the objective. When playing Victor, you need to know how to correctly cook your nades. First of all, I'm not able to learn you how long you need to cook the nades. You need to learn that from experience. I can tell you though that you don't have to expose yourself while cooking your nade. You can just stand behind the wall, cooking your nade, and then just before throwing it, you expose yourself for a short period of time. This might be hard if you have the nade bound to Q, because that makes strafing to the left and cooking a nade at the same time very hard. This is the reason I bound my nade key to a key on my mouse. Remember your enemy's moves and try and predict them. Let's say you're Andro and you're playing against the Cassie. The Cassie, every time she sees you, she does her blast shot combo. What do you do? Well, you adapt. The next time you see her, use your reversal. You eat the combo and not get damaged. If you can hit the reversal on her, then it would be great and certain death for her. The same thing goes for where they go. If someone's standing in the same spot all the time, you can try and kill them while they're setting up, or you can just sneak up to them and get the first shot off. This little trick is just basically being a nice person and trying to shield your teammates. Shields like Makoa's dome shield can be easily used to protect your teammates from enemy fire. Let's say you have a Cassie who's retreating and she's low on health. You, as Makoa, can then use your shield and get her in. This will of course protect her and probably save her life. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed your time here and you'll see me in the next one.